So that's the original handle? The original handle, yeah, from 1903. It's probably made of copper, more than likely, because it's tarnished green. You can see the copper underneath it, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fireman had to break in. Yeah. But uh, we, we had people on site from the congregation uh, shortly after the fire department got here, and they were all, uh, in fact, the firemen knew uh, one of our congregants, and so they called them when they got the alarm. And uh, uh, the congregant told the fire department, the first thing you need to do when you get in there is, is get the scrolls out. Yeah. So uh, they were able to get those out and mm -hmm. put them in the fire trucks event, uh, initially and then put them in one of our congregants' cars. And I think we're going to be a couple of months out. Uh -huh. You know, it's just trying to decide, you know, get, getting the materials to, to uh, redo the inside of the sanctuary and uh, have uh, rebuilt some of these walls. Uh, inside it's all going to take a couple of months probably so and we're trying to trying to keep the historic nature of the building but yet uh modernize some things it was just remodeled in the late uh 1950s uh some of those things now to us are they're not really particular to the construction of the 1900s not right. historically significant to that so we're trying to change something like some of the lighting in there mm -hmm. rather than the fluorescent bulbs that were added at that time. We we're going with LED bulbs, you know, more modern and give us more light. It'll have the same effect in there, mm -hmm. but it's a modern way to go with the lighting. Uh, mm -hmm. Some we had some hanging pendants in there that was from the 1950s, but it's uh, now that we have an opportunity, now is the time if we want to have something a little bit different, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sort of modernize the lighting fixture. Be a, uh, historic, uh, so that they look like 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 they're an older fixture. We don't want anything too modern in there. And then you know we update the wall covering, some some type of wall covering, uh, similar to what we had. We're going back with some of the veneer in there that was damaged, uh, either from the smoke or from the water. Mm -hmm. Going back and replacing some of those veneers with uh, with a, a different type of covering. And then the the two bonus windows that y'all found. Yeah, so. yeah, we found two bonus uh, uh, small uh, stained uh, stained glass windows above. Uh, both of the doorways in there, because part of part of the the altar area up there, a third of it used to be an air conditioning unit up there. So when we did this in the 1950s, they opened up that space, moved the air conditioning units outside. My mom has some cracks on it. Uh, the guy think when the guy thinks he can take the wind out, repair that glass, and can put it back. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. we can't get we can't get behind one of the windows on one side because of the brick wall from the original temple was built in 1900. Because all of this was, all of this, the uh, social hall here was actually remodeled back in the 50s, too. Right. So we, it, was a small, it was a small room back here, but then they expanded it. They added classrooms, bathrooms, and a kitchen, a modern kitchen back in the late 50s. Oh, wow. Okay. So this was all added after, well, you know, in the 50s rather than the 1900s. None, none of this was here. Okay.